Welcome back to another episode of Rock Boys Football. Some massive news late Monday night for the Auburn Tiger fans as they hired DJ Durkin to take over the defensive coordinator position heading into the 2024 season. And I'll say this right off the jump, in my mind, this is an absolute home run hire for the Auburn Tigers heading into 2024. And I think the main reasons are the same reasons that we were talking about the last couple of weeks for Hugh Freeze making this choice. And this is a conversation that we've had, and it's I think Hugh Freeze was looking for an experienced defensive coordinator that's been around the block a time or two that really allows Hugh Freeze to kind of give the keys to for the defense and really allow Hugh Freeze to focus on getting this offense right heading into 2024, kind of very similar to what Ryan Day did hiring Jim Knowles in terms of, hey, our offense has struggled. We want to I want to make sure I'm not spending too much time on the defensive side of the football. He goes out and makes a splash hire for Jim Knowles so he can focus on the offense. And I think that's exactly Hugh Freeze's thinking about going out and hiring a guy like DJ Durkin, an experienced defensive coordinator, who's making his fourth stop in the SEC as a defensive coordinator. That is the exact guy that we've kind of been talking about the last couple of weeks in terms of what you're looking for in a defensive coordinator. And as a Michigan fan, I mean, DJ Durkin in that 2015 year for Michigan did a phenomenal job getting that defense right. I don't think there was a better hire to be made than DJ Durkin for the Auburn Tigers. Hugh Freeze gets it right. Done a phenomenal job cultivating a strong coaching staff this offseason. Want to get into DJ Durkin. Talk a little bit about what to expect from this defense heading into 2024. Before we get into it, just want to say thank you to you guys. And as always, a shout out to the Auburn Tiger fans, whether we're talking transfer portal, high school recruiting, coaching staff changes, the amount of support you guys have shown over the last couple of weeks has been absolutely amazing. Cannot thank you guys enough. It really does mean the world. If y'all do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. And more importantly, would love to hear how you guys are feeling in the comment section. We'll chop it up there. And without further ado, let's get into DJ Durkin. I want to start with kind of DJ Durkin and what he's done during his career Obviously, his first stop as an SEC defensive coordinator came for the Florida Gators. And it's kind of funny because DJ Durkin has kind of routinely been put in bad spots where he's a defensive coordinator and doing a good job on the defensive side of the football and just not getting any help from his offense. That was kind of the story at Florida. And then he goes to Michigan and I think does a phenomenal job with that Michigan defense, gets hired as Maryland's next head coach. Obviously, that does not go as planned. He goes to Ole Miss and in two years completely changes the narrative of this Ole Miss defense. That Ole Miss defense for years kind of under Lane Kiffin's beginning of his tenure was kind of thought of as kind of Swiss cheese, right? Lane Kiffin's just going to try to outscore opposing teams. And DJ Durkin came in and kind of completely turned around that Ole Miss defense, does such a good job. Jimbo Fisher gives him a massive check to come take over that defense in two years in Texas A&M. I mean, did a really, really good job. And you take a look at why it didn't work at Texas A&M. It certainly wasn't because of what the defense was doing over the last couple of years. In 2023, at Texas A&M, this team on defense only allowed 23 points per game, only 3.3 yards per carry. That was 15th in the country and sacked the quarterback 11% of their dropbacks. That was number two in this con in the country. And you look at that Texas A&M defense and what they did so well and what you kind of expect for this Auburn Tigers unit heading into 2024 is absolute disruption in the front seven. A lot of different looks, a lot of different blitz packages. This is a coordinator that wants to be aggressive. You go turn on the Texas A&M film. It is constant pressure, kind of a smothering approach of playing defense. And if you're the Auburn Tigers, you're extremely excited about that mentality coming to the Auburn defense in 2024. And I think the main reason why I'm such a big fan of this hire is it really allows Hugh Freeze to not really have to worry about the defense, right? DJ Durkin's been a head coach. He's been a defensive coordinator at multiple massive power five programs, including Michigan, Florida, Ole Miss, Texas A&M. This is a coordinator that's been around the block a time or two. So Hugh Freeze brings in DJ Durkin and says, hey, here are the keys to this defense. You go do your thing. And Hugh Freeze's focus now goes to that offense where you have a loaded class in 2024 coming in, Cam Coleman, Perry Thompson, Walker White, and you're trying to get this offense 
back to really where you think it belongs as a Hugh Freeze team. And so allowing Hugh Freeze to really focus on this offense and focus on the play calling and let DJ Durkin just handle the defense and not really have to bother Hugh Freeze with working at the defense, I, mean, I think that's the biggest storyline. And again, you saw Ryan Day do a very similar thing at Ohio State where he hires Jim Knowles, one of the best defensive coordinators across the country, and says, hey, you take the defense. I'm going to get this offense back on track. I think you're seeing a very similar thing with Hugh Freeze. And I think it's massive because you look at this Auburn program and you look at the opportunity that they have over the next couple of years. And it is an offense that has a ton of talent, especially young talent, coming into this program. You want Hugh Freeze and his fingerprints being all over this offense. You don't really want Hugh Freeze worrying about the defense and bringing in DJ Durkin allows Hugh Freeze to really not have to worry about the defense because DJ Durkin has it. Now, the one knock that you might have on DJ Durkin that I think kind of is overblown is the recruiting. I mean, DJ Durkin surely is not an ace recruiter on the trail. But I think what Auburn's done a really good job of is surrounding a staff of young coaches that can really get it done on the trail. So you're relying on your position coaches to get it done on the recruiting trail, which is kind of what you should be. And you should have a defense coordinator that is a kind of defensive mastermind. I think that's exactly what DJ Durkin is. But I think even as a recruiter, I mean, this is a guy that's been at Florida, Ole Miss, Texas A&M. This is his fourth stop in the SEC as a defensive coordinator. He has those relationships. This is not his first time around the block. So even on the recruiting trail, I think DJ Durkin is going to be just fine. But at the end of the day, you take a look at the boxes that we wanted Hugh Freeze and the Auburn Tigers to check in terms of bringing in a defensive coordinator. I think the number one thing was experience. I think the number two thing was a proven track record. And I think the number three was kind of that independentness in terms of, hey, you can go run this defense. You don't need the head coach having any attention really to this defense. And I think DJ Durkin from experience certainly checks that box. Proven track record in my mind has done a phenomenal job really at all his stops as a defensive coordinator. And he's a guy that is certainly independent. Again, has been a head coach, has been a defensive coordinator of multiple power five massive programs, complete box check. We'll dive into this more, but this is late Monday night. Wanted to give you guys some of my thoughts on this hire. I think Hugh Freeze absolutely crushed it. Not really sure why it took so long. I was kind of thinking since this whole process played out so long, I thought they were going after maybe an NFL coach that was still making their playoff run. You no, know, DJ Durkin gets the job, a massive hire. Apparently, DJ Durkin had a lot of offers from other SEC schools. Auburn able to lock in an experienced, proven defensive coordinator. Massive get for the Auburn Tigers. Again, would love to hear from you guys in the comment section how you guys are feeling about this one. Appreciate all the support you guys have shown. And if you all do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. Appreciate you guys. And we'll talk to you all later.